In our recent paper, we investigated dynamics of p-type ATPase transport cycle using single molecule FRET. P-type ATPases can be compared to tiny molecular machines that pump ions across cellular membranes. Upon doing so, they undergo large conformational changes, or in other words, they exhibit large intramolecular movements. There are many crystal structures of p-type ATPases at various cornerstones of the transport cycle. The calcium pump is particularly well described structurally, and it has been possible to make a morph of the pump cycling through different conformations upon pumping calcium, where the large movements of different domains are clearly visible. What is however missing in the morph is the kinetics of the transport cycle and how the different states are dynamically connected. Therefore, we decided to add this information to the big picture measuring dynamics of single protein molecules in real time using a powerful method of single molecule FRET. In order to do single molecule FRET measurements, we labeled the protein with two fluorescent dyes. FRET is the, is the transfer of energy between the two dyes and depends on the distance. Therefore, we can use FRET as an intramolecular ruler, allowing us to measure distances inside the molecule while they occur. We labeled two specific sites in the pump that displayed the biggest difference in distance between the inward and the outward open conformations. Then, using a state-of-the-art total internal reflection microscope in the laboratory of Scott Blanchett in New York, we observed the behavior of single molecules while they were pumping ions. A major advantage of using a single molecule approach is that we can observe time-dependent changes in individual molecules. For example, we can see single molecule traces of the calcium pump transiently changing its conformation while pumping ions. Here we see the pump mostly in the high thread inward open conformation with brief transitions to the low thread outward open states. Single molecule thread is uniquely able to observe conformations of the pump that would be obscured in ensemble measurements. For example, we observed a new conformation of the pump which has previously been proposed, but never directly observed. It's shown as an intermediate in red uh, here. The state is structurally intermediate between the outward open and the inward open and is believed to be a closed state with calcium ions bound. Our single molecule approach also allows us to shed light onto what limits how fast the pump can go. Surprisingly, it wasn't the big conformational changes, but the chemistry of the phosphorylation reaction that offers the overall rate limiting step on the continuous pumping. We could then add this kinetic information to our morph so the states have realistic lifetimes. Yeah, it's been a very interesting journey for a laboratory like ours to, to enter single molecule studies. I mean, we've been studying structures, crystal structures, and now also electron microscopy studies, uh, structures for a long time. And now suddenly you bring life into such studies. I think this is extremely exciting and at the same time also a really very important development because what we really ultimately want to do is to be more than just descriptive but actually also being able to really establish proper models of how molecular systems in biology work and for that to connect I think it's really important that we can combine both structure and dynamical information about macromolecules how they interact and how they build up really complex networks of function in biology.